Last year I made some educated guesses on how SpaceX plans on getting men on Mars within 10 or 15 years. Now 9 or 14 years. Since then, only little bits and pieces of what SpaceX is planning has been announced. While their customers of the group Mars One have fully unveiled their own plans. My educated guesses turned out to be very similar to what these two groups of people were proposing. Now for a long while SpaceX had been hinting about a new rocket or a new spacecraft called MCT, but remained tight-lipped on just what MCT stood for. But now we know. On June 6, 2013, Elon Musk posted the following comment on his Twitter account. No near-term plans to IPO at SpaceX, only possible in very long term when Mars Colonial Transporter is flying regularly. There, he just said it. It stands for Mars Colonial Transporter. From this alone, we can reasonably rule out the MCT as being the Super Heavy Launch Vehicle or Trans Mars Injection Stage and narrow it down to being either the Mars Transit Vehicle or Mars Lander. It all comes down to whether the MCT is intended to transport the Mars colonists all the way down to the Martian surface or just into Mars orbit and then let a smaller craft like Dragon take the colonists the rest of the way down. Early this year in March, Elon Musk stated that the new Dragon spacecraft capable of propulsive landings will be called Dragon 2. I had theorized earlier that this version of Dragon would be transporting astronauts to and from the Red Planet. But on the other hand, in a Space.com article, Musk stated that maybe the spacecraft that will take men to the surface of Mars will be the MCT. But now that we know what the MCT stands for, perhaps in the near future we will see some design plans unveiled. Most interestingly, in a January 9th, 2013 Digital Journal article, we find this paragraph. Musk admits that there are dangers that need to be overcome before his goal can be reached. With space exploration comes the threat of deep space radiation, and this needs to be solved first before humans can be sent to Mars. This statement appears verbatim in an Apple Daily newscast embedded in the article. Even though it only costs $400,000 to go to Mars, Musk agrees that there are issues like space radiation that needs to be solved first before sending humans there. Now, I do stress that I'm not familiar where Musk originally made this statement, but if this article is 100% accurately representing him, I can only thank God! This article was published two months after Musk told the Royal Astronomical Society that he planned on shielding Mars astronauts during the coast phase of the voyage with a simple column of water and keeping that column pointed at the sun. In terms of shielding against, um, against a solar radiate, you know, sort of a solar storm, I think you sometimes that problem is stated as you need you know, several meters of water. You know, to shield yourself, and, and, and then somebody does a calculation for the volume of the sphere, and that ends up being some enormous quantity of water. But you don't need to have that. You can just have a column of water pointed at the sun, um, and make sure that you're mostly in front of that column, um, and you should be okay. So, so I think I think it'll be, I don't think it's a huge sh showstopper. It's certainly not a showstopper, and, and, and we'll figure out ways to make it better and better over time. I explained in my video posted on December 14, 2012 that this would not work, because the sun's magnetic field deflects solar particles in all directions, and thus necessitates protection from all directions. Understandably concerned for the safety of SpaceX's astronauts, I sent Musk a link to this video on his Twitter account. I also posted a link to this video on SpaceX's Facebook page. Now why would Musk state that a column of water would do the trick, and then two months later state that the radiation problem must be solved? The only reason that I can imagine is that he has had second thoughts, and knows now that his column of water must surround the entire capsule, not just one side of it. Given the timing of this article, I can only hope that Musk has realised his mistake. I hope that when the design for the Mars Colonial Transporter is unveiled, it will have not a single column of water, but a radiation shelter module completely surrounded by two metres of water.